Well, first of all, congratulations. Sparkella is back. Yes. I'm sure at this point in your career, you're used to maybe seeing your name in the <laughs> credits at the end of films, but to see your name on the cover of this book, also with New York Times best-selling author. <laughs> That's How does it definitely feel? new. Uh, <laughs> I don't even, you know, look, it, all this is so new. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even really know how to explain it. Like I've said it in a couple interviews. Like, mm -hmm. if you interviewed every single English teacher that I ever, th th I would definitely be in the bracket of like the least likely to do anything <laughs> ever in literature or with words mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> I, 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 they would have been proud of me if I just knew how to make a complete sentence. <laughs> and and the fact that this has happened is, mm -hmm. look, it just wasn't me. There's an army behind these things, and and like it. it it just the whole thing wouldn't be realized without so many people mm -hmm. and I you know it, it, I, I won't bore everybody with all their names but they all know who they are and I, it's it's one of those things I love seeing the smile on your face it's just beaming of pride yeah because yeah. you have done so much in your career so accomplished you are an actor a filmmaker but this is my favorite one right here favorite role to date is being a father because <laughs> it's still happening. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, you're trying to secure your job and be like, I don't know, I don't know how it's going. You know, mm -hmm. uh, no, it's, it, it, it's one of those things like, you know, when people, before you have a kid, mm -hmm. you either don't want to have a kid or you do want to have a kid or you don't know. And then it just happens to you. And, and like, you're never ready for it. And it's always going to teach you. And it still is teaching me. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, m my little, my littles is is around here and and like day to day you know that you're not going to be the coolest kid in the room and she's going to keep you in line and uh i don't know what it's like to have a have a son uh, but i know what it's like to have a daughter and it is wild i've never been creatively challenged more in my career or in my life than just being a dad simply day to day a girl dad i love it and i love how much she inspires your work because yeah. so much of this is your daughter. This book in particular, Sparkella Makes a Plan. I mm -hmm. hear that the inspiration mm -hmm. behind the storyline was a special day yeah. that you shared with your daughter building a birdhouse? Yeah, yeah. It, it was one of those like, mm -hmm. kind of just random days. We, we don't do a ton of like, I don't know, very cliche projects where, you know, we, we make a lot of things. We paint, we, mm -hmm. we draw murals, like we do all kind of things that are creative, but we never made like something so cliche as a birdhouse. And I remember like when she came and she just had the idea yeah. and I was like, oh no. <laughs> like I was like, okay, she's already got the idea of how mm -hmm. she wants it to look, how she wants it to be mm -hmm. painted, like the levels, like, you know, how she wants to hang. Mm -hmm. And I was, and I, and I knew about at least, at least 70% of what she wanted to do wasn't going to work or we didn't have the materials. And I was just like, oh man, this is going to be a day. And uh, cause she's very, very strong willed. And, and I remember not having the tools to know how mm -hmm. to tell her that this wasn't gonna like really be exactly how she wants it to be. So I just kind of had to let her like go fail. And, and like, <laughs> it was a long process, lots of frustration mm -hmm. and uh, lots of patience. And, and then what we got to was one of the cooler birdhouses that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if birds really want to live in it, but we really, <laughs> really like it. And, and mm -hmm. like we haven't actually hunted in, in a tree yet. And we don't, <laughs> we don't know if it's functional. <laughs> but we both really love the birdhouse. <laughs> so yeah. So you got the final product and it helped inspire. Yeah. Hopefully the next uh, New York Times bestseller too. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, those things are, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah th thank you. Yeah, yeah no, I, what I do know, it, what we both learned is just how to be with each other inside of something that we both want to have happen and just kind of go on the journey. I love how down you are for all of the fun. You rock sparkly tutus, the headbands, painted nails, full face of makeup. Now, is your daughter all for the fun shenanigans or is she kind of getting to an age where like maybe a little embarrassed? How does she feel? We haven't got to the embarrassed stage okay. just yet, um, thankfully, because <laughs> that was my like, it was kind of truly my only way in. Uh, the only reason I started wearing the tutus and painting the nails and wearing the face paint and stuff because it was just me going into her world. Whatever the stuff that she liked, I just was like, I don't know, like that was me, that was my only way in. Like I, obviously not a girl, I definitely didn't grow up like Evie's growing up and I just kind of tried to do whatever I visually saw to kind of not stick out 
in her world as like not a thing that she wanted to be there. And and so far we're getting along. How much fun are you having tapping into your own inner child? Because I watched the clip of you doing the audiobook and I was laughing with you when you were really tapping into your inner child. Yeah. I, well, one, I love audiobooks. Like, <laughs> I like <laughs> love them more than I can possibly say. I actually geeked out when I was just like doing like the intro. Macmillan Audio presents the one and only Sparkella makes a plan. Written and read by Channing Tatum, illustrated by Kim Barnes. How was that? We're done, guys? That was, that was great, right? Cool, all right. It was like a weird experience that I had of like projecting myself mm -hmm. in the first time I was in a movie. I was like, oh my God, I'm about to be in a movie, I'm about to do the thing. Uh, but, I, you know, this walk with being a dad, being like, there's no words to kind of try to explain what it all is. Like, I have, I have so many feelings and less words to be able to, to really like try to articulate how I feel. Um, I know that things are kind of changing, you know, and, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, she's about to start going into like the tween like age, and you know, I'm kind of looking back on like all the all the moments, and, savoring them. Yeah, and like you're just like, oh wow, like, and you go, we barely in your mind like survive those, but it's not the truth. Like, you know, you actually thrive during them. And now we're going into a different place, and it's uh, I don't know, it's just it's it's more of a beautiful feeling than it is me able to explain what I really got out of it. That's I think right there. <laughs> we, like, there's, no, there's no way to like tell people what being a parent is, because what, what you experience along the way is so educational that it's so beyond the scope of like, of, of really being able to explain what that gives you. Like, and, and like, you can only kind of do it for like, by being a parent. Mm -hmm. And I love that you get to keep the fun rolling and keep being that inner child, because Sparkella it's coming to the big screen. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. I mean, movies, oh man, movies, movies have a long, long, long life. Mm -hmm. uh, but we definitely have, we definitely have a great idea. I love like 80s and 90s movies. I love like straight cartoon sort of mm -hmm. kids movies. But what I've missed in the last maybe like two decades is the like live action, like putting actual kids like into like Return to Oz or or these, these movies where it makes a real fantastical world mm -hmm. and, and like the kids get to actually go inside of that world and, or, or the kids go get to go in but they actually take their parents and they have to basically grow and learn something together and, and um, that's our intention so far. We'll see how it goes because <laughs> everything changes when you make a movie, yeah. like you can't know. Is this gonna be a role where we see you Hopefully. in a way that we've never seen you before? Uh, I guess I've never played, well, I've played a dad before, but I've never played this kind of dad. Um, and I've never played a dad that, that uh, is so close to like how I, you know, am in real life. And who knows if I'll be like I am in real life in the movie just yet. There's so much uh, to be to kind of discovered. You know, you, you really mm -hmm. go on a journey of, you have an intention and you sort of march in that direction and you just sort of like, you know, oh, this feels a little like more right today. Yeah. Um, so it's a discovery. How do you and Jenna feel about maybe your daughter following in your acting footsteps one day? Uh, I, I, she can be a she can be an actress if she wants to be. Um, I think that I feel very uh, very adamant about I don't want her to be an actress until she's 18. Um, for me, I really believe that I want her to go and have life and experience life and not try to because. Like acting, you really have to kind of get outside of yourself and really look at like wh who you are, what you are. I don't, I don't know if you know what that is until you're like way older, or even like able to do that properly um, until you're way older. And and it's not to say that there aren't some incredible like kid actors out there. You know, like Joseph Gordon-Levitt is like m like one of my greatest friends, and I don't know how he's become the the human that he is. Mm -hmm. Like going through his his whole trajectory of like being a child actor and like being an incredible child actor. I, I don't know if um, I would want that that navigational sort of you know circumstance for for Abby. Um, I just want her to go be a person, a human, and if she's really interested in, in acting and, and, and like movies and stories, mm -hmm. she'll find it. She'll find it, um, but not right now. It's also a lot of work. I mean look at you, you had two big theatrical 
films this year. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, haven't, I haven't been around for a while, so you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to, trying to come back and do some stuff. Really quickly, how much fun did you have with Salma? Salma came in and like, just was a, like, a tour de force. Like, uh, she made everyone work harder on set. Like, when I say from writer to director to me, she, she asked everybody the hard questions of why are you doing this? Like, what's going on? Like, wh why are we here right now? And I, there is not a question in my mind of why. She is who she is and she's done what she's done and she's gonna keep, like, I think, just, just blowing people's minds of what, there are no bounds. When you're that much of a, um, you're, you're just, you, you don't stop at one answer you know you don't stop it just like okay she's she's ever gonna be digging to like what's more of the truth and that's rad I, I, I will do any movie with her forever